Hi, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick, author of the book The Charismatic Edge and creator of the Online Charisma Training Academy and Online Time Mastery course. In this particular video, I wanted to talk to you about the eight keys of happiness, the eight keys of happy people, the eight secrets that will enable you to become happier than you could possibly be. One of the things I will start off by saying is if you're interested in reading more about the different things you could do to ensure that you're at your happiest, I highly recommend the book The Happiness Habit by my good friend and amazing trainer himself, Mr. Brian Colbert. He's also got From Ordinary to Extraordinary, which again extends and helps you to become even clearer about how this uh, idea of happiness works. But I highly recommend The Happiness Habit and From Ordinary to Extraordinary by Brian Colbert. In this particular video, I want to share with you eight different important ideas or aspects of life to focus on in order for you to, you to be as happy as you could possibly be. The first is making sure that you're paying attention to what you have to feel grateful about. Feeling grateful about what you already have in your life is a critical part to being happy. A lot of times we spend our lives trying to achieve goals, which is good, but we fail to stop and appreciate all of the things that we've already achieved. We don't feel grateful enough about what we've achieved. We don't feel grateful enough about who we have in our life. We don't feel uh, grateful enough about what we have in our life, all the things that we have to feel grateful about. So it's important for you each day to spend some time and ask yourself the question, what am I grateful for? What am I happy about? The more you can think of just a few items every day of what you have to feel grateful about, the more that puts a spring in your step. It perks you up. It makes you feel better because you start to feel good and appreciate all the great things you already have in your life. The second thing is to be able to go out and start to focus on achieving things because it's great to be grateful for what you already have, but it's also important for you to create more in your life, to make more of an impact, to start to pursue your goals, to achieve more in terms of your life. So ask yourself the question, what can you achieve? And start to set goals for yourself, goals that you know that you can achieve. Because the more that you do it, the more that you grow, the more that you challenge yourself, the more that you improve, the more likely you are to be able to feel happier as a result. Challenge is one of the things that makes people feel happier. Setting yourself a goal, setting yourself a target and going after it forces you to step up and forces yourself to become a better version of you. And this better version of you isn't a nicer version of you, but it's just you rising to the challenge. And the more you rise to a challenge, the more light you are to feel completely absorbed in that experience and therefore it transforms your life. The next thing is to be able to pay attention to experiences rather than products. You know, a lot of times people buy things and they think by buying something it'll make them happy and sometimes it can make them a little happier to buy an item. But research shows that when you spend your money on experiences like on holidays or time with your family or doing things or learning things versus buying a particular object, you're much more likely to be happy by spending time on the experiences. And by experiences, I'm not just talking about investing in experiences more than products or more than um, particular items or physical things. I'm also talking about appreciating experiences and that means being more mindful, staying in the present more, starting to enjoy the experience. A lot of times we go on holiday or we bring our cameras on holiday and we're so busy taking photographs and trying to achieve things that we don't sit back and really appreciate the experience. And one of the most wonderful things about doing anything is the ability that you have to, to really and truly enjoy the experience of what it's like to be there. If you're lying on a beach or if you're um, uh, playing football with your friends or if you're going shopping in the most amazing place. It's something that is an experience which is so unique and so valuable and so wonderful that it's really important for you to you know, take as much time as you can to appreciate it. The next thing is to appreciate your relationships. Spending time with other people and having friends and having close uh, connections with people has been shown to be something not only that extends how long you're likely to live but also ensures that you're living happily. It increases your levels of serotonin, dopamine, endorphins. It makes you feel good on a regular basis. So make sure that you invest in your relationships. Sometimes it can be uh, easy to fall into the trap of working all the time. But studies show time and time again that the more that you focus on the relationships in your life, the more you're paying attention to those relationships, the more likely you are to be happier, the more likely you are to be healthier as a result as well. Next is to make sure that you get healthy. By getting healthy, I mean looking after your physical body. The more that you look after your body, the more your brain will have good brain chemistry running through it and the more you're likely to be happier. It's important to get enough sleep. It's important to relax as much as you can whenever you get a chance. It's important to exercise regularly. It's important to eat healthy. It's important to make sure that your body is in the best possible uh, condition it could be in. 
The best condition that you can be in ensures that your brain will be operating in the most useful manner and will ensure that you're thinking as healthy and as happily as you possibly can. As well as ensuring your brain is operating, another important principle is to make sure that you're thinking healthy. Now when I talk about thinking healthy, I'm talking about making sure that you're thinking useful thoughts. Using great skills or tools like NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, again some of the stuff that you'll read, a lot of the stuff you'll read in Brian's book or even my own book, The Charismatic Edge, will help you to think in a healthy or useful manner. It will allow you to be able to make new images and think not necessarily just as in a positive way, but in a useful way. So you become what we call solution focused. You start to ensure that you're building motivation inside your mind because you're thinking in a much more useful manner. The more that you start thinking usefully, the more likely you are to be able to build a good set of uh, positive chemicals and positive feelings that run through your brain and make you feel ridiculously good more and more of the time. Next is to act happy. Now by acting happy, I simply mean that getting yourself physiologically into position where you're demonstrating more energy. Studies show that when you smile and when you put yourself in a particular good, happy position or posture, you're more likely to feel good. So it's critical for you to start to ensure that you're not walking around in a way that's conducive to making you feel bad. You're walking around the place and bouncing around the place in a way that's conducive to making you feel good. The more you start to build these habits of uh, behavior and habits of body language and habits of smiling and habits of thinking effectively as well, the more likely you are to cultivate inside of you a much more powerful, positive and happier way of thinking, way of living, way of breathing, way of experiencing life. The more you do it, the better it will be for you and uh, I highly, highly recommend it. And lastly, strategize. When we talk about strategizing, we're really talking about your ability to be able to strategically think and plan for anything that might go wrong, for any bad things that might happen. The, the truth of the matter is, is that in life, we pretty much know and can predict that there are certain challenges that will crop up. When those challenges crop up, it's vital for you to be able to pay attention to those challenges, prepare for those challenges and be able to adapt to them and work with them and deal with them regardless of what occurs. So it's really, really important to make sure that any time that you're um, you know, uh, going through any challenging situations in life, you're prepared for. So again, you're predicting ahead of time, what are the things that might challenge me? What are the things that might stress me? What are the things that might get in my way? What are the things that might get me down? Prepare for those and strategize around them. What are you going to do if this happens? If you don't get the job, what are you going to do? If you don't achieve that particular result, what are you going to do? If someone comes in and is nasty, how are you going to deal with them? The more you can strategize and prepare for what might make you feel bad, the more likely you are to be, become more resilient and become more able to handle it all. So again, I really hope that these eight items, these eight keys are things that help you to become happier uh, than you've ever been before. Making sure that you're aware of uh, you know, what you feel grateful about, making sure that you're appreciating the relationships in your life, that you're trying to achieve all that you want to achieve and you're setting yourself goals to test yourself, to challenge yourself. Um, you're appreciating the experiences uh, that you have in your life, experiencing nature, experiencing the wonderful world, experiencing time with your loved ones, all of those great, wonderful things. Making sure that you're um, getting as healthy as you possibly can be, making sure you put yourself in prime condition, that you're thinking healthy and you're using uh, more effective ways of thinking to build more useful beliefs and more useful way of thinking about the world. And making sure that you're acting happy so that you're physically moving about in a way that the happy person would. And lastly, strategizing for any problems that might get in your way. Doing those eight things are sure to make you much happier, uh, much more effective as a result. I really hope you find this uh, video useful. I hope you find it valuable. For now, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick. Please go out into the world. Let the world impact you. Impact the world yourself. Become incredibly happy. And as ever, be a legend in your own lunchbox. Thanks for watching.